Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. If you're dealing with the issue of a boot loop on Windows 11 or 10 system, where your PC keeps restarting and never successfully loads the desktop, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll guide you through some effective solutions to fix this problem on your Windows laptop or desktop. To begin, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and then click the Restart option from the Start menu. If you're unable to access the desktop or don't see a restart option, simply press and hold the power button until your PC shuts down and restarts. As soon as the boot screen appears, release the shift key. This will take you to the advanced startup repair screen, where we can begin troubleshooting the issue step by step. Once you're on the startup repair screen, click on troubleshoot and then select advanced options. Now, click on command prompt to launch the terminal. In the command prompt window, we'll enter a series of commands to fix the boot-related issues. These commands are also listed in the video description. First, type the command boot rec slash fix mbr and press enter. You should see a message saying the operation completed successfully. Next, type boot rec slash fix boot and press enter. If you see an error like access is denied, don't worry. We'll fix that. Type this next command to update the boot code. Press enter and you should see a confirmation that the boot code was successfully updated. Now try running the fix boot command again. This time it should complete successfully. Next, enter this command to scan for any existing Windows installations. Wait for the scan to complete. You should see the operation completed successfully. Finally, rebuild the boot configuration data by typing this command, then press enter and wait for the process to finish. Once all the commands have been executed, type exit and press enter to close the command prompt window. Now, click on the continue option to boot into Windows 11 and check if the boot loop has been resolved. If your PC still doesn't boot properly, don't worry, we'll move on to the next method. Next, I recommend repairing the EFI bootloader, which is a crucial step if your system is stuck in a boot loop. To begin, go back to the Advanced Options screen, click on Troubleshoot, and then select Advanced Options once again. From there, open the command prompt. In the command prompt window, start by entering the command, this part, and press Enter. Next type, List Disk, then press Enter. This will display all the disks connected to your system. Identify your main system disk. In most cases, it's disk 0, but confirm this based on the size shown. Select your system disk by typing select disk with the number of your actual system disk if it's different. Next, list the partitions on the selected disk. You'll now see all the partitions. Look for the EFI partition, usually labeled as 100 megabytes in size and formatted with the FAT32 file system. To confirm, you can also type list volume and press enter. Now look for the volume that matches the EFI partition description, FAT32, 100 megabytes. Once found, select it using this command. Select volume two, replace two with the correct volume number of your EFI partition. Now assign a temporary drive letter to this hidden EFI partition so we can access it. Type assign letter G. You can use any unused drive letter instead of G. Once the drive letter is assigned, exit disk part by typing exit and press enter. Now, navigate to the bootloader directory on the EFI partition. Use the following command. Replace G with the drive letter you assigned and press enter. This command takes you inside the EFI boot folder where we can repair the boot files. At this point, you'll want to rebuild or overwrite the partition boot record. Run the following commands one by one. They'll be listed in the video description as well. If you get access denied, it means your boot partition may be locked or corrupted and you'll need to proceed using a Windows installation media to repair your system. This process helps restore the EFI bootloader, which is essential for your Windows system to boot correctly. If rebuilding the MBR didn't resolve your issue, the next step is to boot into safe mode and run a few important system repair commands. I'll provide all the necessary commands in the video description. 
To begin, from the Recovery Options screen, click on Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options and select Startup Settings. After that, click on Restart. Once your PC restarts, you'll see several boot options on the screen. Press the 5 key on your keyboard to select Safe Mode with Networking. After logging into your desktop in Safe Mode, open the Start menu, type CMD and then right click Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Now, type the following command to scan your system for corrupted or missing protected files. This scan may take some time, so be patient. If the system file checker does not detect any integrity violations, move on to the next command, which will help repair Windows system images. Again, allow this process to complete. It may take several minutes depending on your system. Once finished, it's a good idea to check your drive for logical or physical disk errors using the Check Disk Utility. You may be prompted to schedule this scan on the next restart. Press Y, then Enter to confirm. Now, restart your PC normally. On reboot, Windows will automatically scan and fix issues on your C drive. If all goes well, your boot loop issue should be resolved. In some cases, a recent Windows update may be responsible for causing these boot problems. If the issue persists, I recommend uninstalling the most recent quality and feature updates from the Advanced Recovery Options menu. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this guide helped you fix the Windows boot loop issue and get your system back to normal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tech tutorials. Also, turn on the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or if a particular method worked for you, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback and help you further. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.